Hey guys, Walker here. Long story short, I've already recorded episode number 32 once already today. Um, but I really didn't like the subject matter at all, so I'm re-recording it. So, welcome to episode 32 of our Thawncraft Let's Play series. What I was doing, um, I was fulfilling a request by a viewer to show how to improve nodes and make them stronger and you know that really isn't a 30 minute episode at all I mean all you really need to do is get an advanced node stabilizer set it down that will improve your node from fading to pale um, or unstable to pale you cannot improve pale to normal using uh, basic farm craft to my knowledge uh, and then if you want to make your node uh, bigger before you energize it, you'd uh, either put down several nodes for it to feed off of, or find yourself a hungry node and then just feed the hell out of the hungry node. Just give it items and that's all you really need to do. And it'll, go, uh, it'll uh, increase its aspect based on the items that you give it. So that was pretty much what the whole point of having this over here was. I actually had recorded me build, making all of this for episode number 32, and I got done doing it, and I was like, um, I really don't like this episode at all, so I'm making a whole brand new episode for it. Just as a little bit of info, this right here is supplying Terra to our um, crystallizer in the room down below, and it's supplying Ignis to this furnace, okay? Uh, when this furnace actually is in use. that So now I don't have to con constantly refill my jar of Ignis Essentia. It's all automatic now. Fully automatic. All I do is I put whatever I want to go into the furnace into this box. And then the rest of it will come out into this box. Semi-automatic. If I like cook up charcoal, it's going to end up in this box. And then I have to just move it over into this box, which will get sorted properly. Uh, let's see, what else did I do? Um, I did realize that I didn't need, uh, because I have the relays set up properly, I don't actually need the, um, charging relay on these tables and on the, uh, requesting booklet here. Because the V relays themselves will, you can see the little Ordo balls going down into that one. The, 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 the relays themselves will re supply the needed Senta V without needing the charging relay. The charging relay, I, I, I remembered, it was actually um, because I had, the last time I built this, I had it set up slightly differently. Um, and I actually did need the charging relays the way I had it set up. But this way... I mean, it's even more compact now. Now I have, obviously I got the wrong color in there, but I now have full floors for the golems to walk across. That's pretty much it. The only other thing is I did um, take one of my viewers' advice and I marked both sides of all the chests. I will say mm. that I don't remember having to do that, but I haven't used chests with Thomcrafts mm -hmm. and well, at least with Thomcraft four, uh, since um, since the first release of mm -hmm. Thomcraft four, uh, I've always had Java barrels or um, it better inventories. So you know, I, I I I haven't seen marked improvement, but there you go, there you have it. I'm not saying you're wrong. I just haven't had to deal with it since the very first release of Thumbcraft 4. All right, this episode, we're going to start a new multi-build. Our, our last multi-build, our multi multiple episode build of the Inventarium is a smashing success. In fact, I use it constantly to request items and my golems go and retrieve them, and it's so great. Uh, I love it. What we're going to do now is we're going to improve this thingy here. Right now it's great uh, for um, when I'm hungry. I just jump into that and I get food. 
I get fill, uh, fed and um, you know it's great for that but I want to use it for improving animals that's what I can do, use it for so there's a couple of things I need to do before I can I can actually infuse animals okay first of all I need the curative vat which I already have I need a modified runic matrix and we might be able to get that done this episode not sure we'll see it requires two Sally's Mundus which we already know is a balance shard cooked up needs two blood syringes which is uh, fairly easy to make an iron nugget a glass vial and then uh, we uh, stab ourselves with it I do believe we need a runic matrix which is very simple to make we've made those before and then you know we need 32 victus 32 magic 32 fabrico and 32 bestia if we don't have that very easy to get that's just 32 crafting tables we have plenty of that we have tons of that obviously and victus i don't remember if we have lots of victus or not but we know where to get it from flowers get victus for crying out loud so we need one of these a modified runic matrix but we also need this new one focus containment okay if i read this correctly it's going to let us jar specimens and this is what we're going to work on this episode and if we get this done then we'll make this okay so very first thing this uh, what it needs it needs four amber two iron bars two cobwebs and a one focus portable hole which we haven't made yet very odd that i haven't made the portable hole focus yet have i made it yet i don't think i have no i've just made shock equal trade and then of course frost for my uh boots of the comet got it right this time and call them boots of the meteor this time um i love the portable hole focus so it's really odd that i haven't made this thing yet I'm not even going to bother reading this to you. I'll demonstrate it. Uh, three quartz, an entropy, an earth, and an air shard with an ender pearl with 10 alienus, 25 eater, 25 partitio, and 20, 10 permutatio. Very minor instability. This thing is really cool. Um, it's not super expensive to make, but it's not on the cheap side, especially when you uh, have like 10 alienus. Uh, but what it does is so cool. So we're going to um, make that right now, in fact. And I think I have enough Essentia to do it right off the bat. Let's take a look. 14 Alienus. Plenty of Eater. I have, oh, I have plenty of Per Ditio. And what was the other one? Permutat. Permutatio 10. 10. I am in the process of getting a bean farm set up so that I don't have to waste my um, cinnabar on that. And I'll show you as soon as we get the hole done because I'll be able to actually just pop up and show you that. All right, I already have the table set up because I'm good like that. We have all the ascension we need. Boom, let's do this. This should go rather quickly. Someone mentioned um, in comments that there is an add-on mod that I can install that will let me see what the instability of my altar is. I appreciate pointing that out and I will certainly try it in a different series or at least I might try it in uh, single player on my own. Um, I think I mentioned once before I'm not I hadn't haven't installed Java I haven't installed better storage I haven't installed um, any mapping utilities because I felt that it was a little bit too cheaty cheating and I feel the same way about that concept being able to see how unstable my altar is um, 
just by an add-on without doing any work for it at all kind of feels cheating. If it were an end result, like Eldritch Tab, Sanity Check, if it was like another thing out of that, and I actually had to work my way to get to it, I would feel a lot better about it. But just having it installed, oh great. Blurred vision for 20 seconds. I'll, uh, just having that installed and letting it just walk up and say, oh, uh, you need to add another 20 skulls for your thing to be able to handle dangerous infusions. I don't know, it just doesn't feel... feels like I'm cheating. So I'm not going to install it. I do appreciate pointing it out because I did not know of that one. Um, I mean, even this, even this one feels kind of cheaty, but I have to work for this. It's like, it's not like I can clip the air and it shows me every air node um, in the world. It's only the ones that I've scanned so far. So anyway, back to work. We now have our portable hole focus. Oh man, I love this thing. Okay. This thing is quite possibly, oops, the most awesome Juan Foki that we have available. All right. Let's demonstrate. Oh, I'm in here. I want to get outside. But man, is it a pain to go all the way out through the front door? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It makes a hole in uh, solid objects. And it's not just, the, it doesn't even just go one layer. Look at that. All the way through, I think it goes a full chunk's worth. A full, um, I think it goes 32 blocks. Not entirely certain. Oh, a few seconds drains V from the wand depending on its depth. So I don't really recall how far it actually goes, but I mean... Uh-oh. Ah! Get out of there! So pretty darn far. Now, one of the other fun things I love doing with this... Ah! Creeper! Ha! <laughs> ah! Creeper! Whoop. Oh, I didn't get that one. Shoot. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I got him. And what's going to happen is once that thing closes, it you know, if if it's solid, it kills him. Oh, look, and it popped up some gunpowder for me. This was my main defense against Eldritch Guardians uh, back in the old game that I used to play uh, before I had fortress armor and a super awesome weapon to fight them with. I had portable holes and I'd open the hole below them and they would fall down and die. Unfortunately we need this. Because what we're going to make is under Thomic Horizons we're making the containment foci. Okay. So let's get our focus pouch out and pull that one out. Okay, that goes right in the center. Okay, and then we need four amber, two iron bars. So one, two, three, four. Do I have any bars? Oh, yes. What did I say? Three or two? I forgot already. Two. Oh, well, three's fine. And we also need cobweb. Um, and we're just going to make cobweb using the alchemical manufacture method. So I need two string. Oops. String. Two string. Ah, look at that. I love it. Wait, I said four amber. Where's your buddies? Okay, he's got the string. Oh, there he is. He's just bouncing around. I did say they're not entirely smart, right? Pretty sure I did say that. There we go. Okay. Do I have the two string? Did you get me the string? All right. 
this. So let's go downstairs. We are gonna make something uh, to get downstairs way easier than this because I'm getting tired of using the staircase. Oh, I did, I did move this around a little bit. Um, as you can see, I made some extra doors. I forgot to describe that. Uh, I did make those. So then, back to work. String for cobweb. We need trap mm -hmm. and panis. Viniculum and panis. Of which we have a ton of both. Viniculum comes from cobweb, right? Yeah, cobweb. Yeah, I know it's on my map. It's not really the map. Um, it's the cobweb because of this stupid thing pushing it over and then, you know, that mm. problem again. So now I got two cobweb. All right, put these back. Because I think I need the trap for this. Let's go get our table set up. So then, is that that let's take a look I need on the quad uh, the four compass points I need amber okay and then it really doesn't matter but shoot really doesn't matter as long as they're across from one another. I need bar, bar, cobweb, cobweb. Now let's just go double check to make sure that we have what we need. Okay. We need eight eater, 32 vacuos. Uh oh, I might not have enough vacuos. And 32, ooh. I think keep one too. Uh, okay, I have plenty of that. Oh shoot, do I have just enough vac? Oh yes, I got just enough vacuous. And oh, I got plenty of eater. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, hit that up. Oh yeah, let's see this work. So while that's working. Uh, in your travels, you have encountered many exotic creatures, which warrant further study, but getting them back to your laboratory is often difficult. Surely therm thermatology can offer a more practical solution than simply attaching a leash to an animal. A series of modifications to the portable hole focus have proven quite effective at this task. By collapsing a pocket of space-time around the subject, you can place it in stasis within a warded jar. Once jarred, the specimen can be stored indefinitely without succumbing to thirst, hunger, or age. Common animals capture easily enough, but more powerful creatures have proven difficult to contain. You must either injure the creature beforehand or keep the containment beam on target long enough to overcome its defenses. Uh, golems and other players cannot be captured in this manner. To break the jar, we release the captive. Right click with the wand. Are we ready for this? This is too much power for one person to have, I think. And I think we have to have jars in our inventory, obviously. Yeah. Well, let's try it, shall we? What should we try first? Open the door. Well, we know golems can't work. I really, really have no desire to capture. I wonder if I can capture a wisp. I have no use for a wisp. Ah! I'm trying to capture a wisp, guys. Ah, come off of that. Ah, stupid chicken. Oh, and he's up. Stupid, stupid chicken. Okay, the wisp didn't work very well, but we were also being um, 
interrupted. That's it. Oh, you want to play it real tough, huh? No, I'm not coming after him. Better have given me something good. Super. I don't even have a use for Superbia yet. All right, let's go. Um, she. You know what I really want? I want a chicken. Um, or a pig. A chicken or a pig. Uh, because I've been, I was looking at some of the stuff you can do with chickens, and I've been looking at some of the stuff you can do with pigs. Sheep, it's pretty much, um, uh, there's two different things you can do with sheep. Uh, you can make a rainbow sheep, or you can make a self-shearing sheep, okay, so. Neat. Yep, it used up a jar. And <laughs> look at that, we have a jarred chicken. Oh my god, that's great. <laughs> oh god, does it make chicken noises while it's in my inventory? Really? Oh my god, it does. Oh man, that is awesome. You know what? We'll get a sheep anyway. Come here, sheepy. We'll get one of everything. Okay, piggy. Piggy. Piggy, 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 piggy. Ooh, a cow. There's two things we can do with cows, too. Each one, each um, regular animal has like two different special racial skills that you can infuse them on. And then a couple of. Uh, Oh wow, that uses a lot of air. It uses a lot of air. Ah, I'm still looking for a pig. Did I already get okay I did. Ooh, I wonder if I can capture squid. Oh, I think I can. <laughs> This is just not right. Uh, <clears throat> I'm still looking for a pig. Wasn't there a pig nearby my house? Or was that just sheep? I already got a cow. Ah, piggy. A little bit of uh, lag there. Oh, there's... Ooh. There's something I can do with a pig to take care of this, too. Um, oh, that's getting... Where's my map? That's, um, that's spread quite a bit since the last time I was over here. We're going to have to address that after we catch ourselves a pig in our jar. Yes! Okay, I think that's going to be the last one. Because I'm almost out of air and predictio. Also, I think that's all of our base animals aside from wolf, cat, and horse, right? That's all of our uh, um, animals that produce stuff for us. Um, uh, I'm going to show you on my way home something I did that I was doing for the original episode 32. Up here, I made myself a pod, uh, mono bean farm. Uh, when it's done, I'm going to have, uh, I need Lux that I'm going to mix with Perditio to make Tenny Bra, and then I need air with um, uh, Perditio to make vacuos and then I have to mix the vacuos and the tenebra to make alienist beans and then I'm just going to plant a whole mess of those and also permutat permutatio beans too eventually 
<coughs> I'm doing that off camera for right now because mono beans are kind of slow. I did set up a lamp of growth up there, which is increasing the speed of growth, but it's still not the best in the world. Okay. We're almost done this episode. Let's try and make a runic matrix really super fast. Um, and let's put our, let's put our uh, specimens down. <laughs> I'm gonna make a special room for all of these. <laughs> oh my god, that is awesome. Aw. That is awesome. Okay. Draw this stuff off. That ain't gonna go anywhere until I set it up myself. Um, put our wand in the table to charge up. Limit matrix. Four blocks, four of any shard, and an end of pearl. Oh shoot. Well, make that eight and then four of any kind, huh? Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, four. Just in case. I think he grabbed the one while I was counting, but just in case. Uh, Ender Pearl, and I need. St oh, wait, shoot. It's eight stone around one. I don't make it often, do I? I mean, I do when I'm building, but I haven't built anything extra on here since what? Episode somewhere in the teens. And even though you know you guys can watch the uh, these uh, right from the get go, I didn't start putting up episodes every single day until the teens, I think. Whatever. I need one more guy. One more. He's coming for it. It is a little slow, and I do have upgrades. I could put, um, is it hats? Top hats? No, that's an increase. Maybe it's bow ties. Yeah, I could put bow ties on them to increase their speed even more. It is definitely not as fast as a uh, AE system. But, in my opinion, it is way cooler than an AE system. There we go. Runic matrix. Okay, so the matrix goes in the center. Goes up here. I need two Sally's Mundus, which is two balance shards. Ew. Oh my god, really? <laughs> Who would have thought? Um, and then I need two blood. Glass file and iron nugget. Nugget. Two of those. I need files. Do I even have any? I have one there. Um... Um, oh shoot, we're getting close to the end. I want to just make this last thing. Um, I don't see any. Oh wait, here we go. I just gotta figure out how to drain this darn thing. Hopefully there's some air in here. I hope I don't need it. Alright, remember we put the balance shard into the infernal furnace and it like ate the balance shard on us, so we're not doing that again. Uh, plant dyes, I don't even know if I have any in there, but probably not. And over here... Okay. 
thwarted syringe. Aha! There you go. To Sally's Mundus. Okay. Top, sides, doesn't really matter. Okay. Uh, shard there. There. 32, 32, 32, and 32. 32 of each kind. Hopefully I have enough. Um, I don't, I definitely don't have enough Victus. Um, no. 32 Bistia, I got plenty of that. Uh, I actually do have enough Fabrico. I obviously have enough magic, so I just need some Victus. Do I have 32 flowers? Throw all my potions that I've collected in there. Oh no, I can't. That's Sano, not Victus. What am I thinking? Oops. Um. Let's see here. Oh, doesn't mushroom give Victus? Bring me a mushroom. I think mushrooms have Victus in them. Okay, that's Ignis, Tenebra, and Herba. No. <clears throat> of course, Herba centrifuges down into freaking Victus, but. That ain't gonna help us. Oh, wait a minute! Derp. Um. Derp me again. I never set up a jar to collect excess like this, did I? That is it. Ah, we're over our time limit. All right, backup plan. Flowers. Okay, now we have all the required ingredients. Let us go hit this, do it, and then in the episode. Bam! Now this is a dangerous infusion, so there is a little bit of instability involved, but, um... I made, uh, you know, in, in the episode that never was, I did make that, the advanced node stabilizer, which is also a dangerous infusion, and it did just fine, and it had far more stuff than this, but we still are at risk. So let's see what we got. It's doing pretty darn well, though. I could add another row of stuff around, but, you know, it's fine the way it is. A, a little bit of danger is fun. We can't make it totally un uh, totally predictable, right? A little unpredictability adds flavor to the game. Once this is done, we will scan it and fix it atop our vat, and then we'll call it an episode, and it'll be part one of Creature Infusions. Okay, now it's gonna draw everything into it. I really should have played a little bit with the blood syringes. I guess they're like potions, except you make them with your blood instead of in a thingy. Alrighty. Modified Runic Matrix. Now then, if I read this correctly, install the matrix atop the vat. Once the infusion vat has been set up, its operation is almost identical to the standard infusion altar, although essentially must be piped in directly. Somewhat riskier than infusing. Wait a minute. So do I do this? 
before or after I make the curate of that? That's a new design to have to the double as an expansion port. Well, on top of that. I think I just drop it on top of the vat. Ah! Is that it? it? Seems like there should be more to it than just that. I don't know. I will research that for next episode. And with that, we're going to call it an episode. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave me a like down below. Leave me some comments. Tell me what I can do to improve my episodes for you to enjoy them more. And uh, subscribe to my channel for more daily Minecraft and Songcraft videos. I have Dwarf Fortress twice a week and Minecraft daily Monday through Friday. Join me on Twitter for fun and discussions and for when new releases are made. And with that, I think we're going to say, check you later.